Hi friends, hope you are doing great. I have planned to take the Google Cloud Platform course 2021. If you are really interested in this course, you can watch this uh, entire video or else you can skip the video. So please don't waste your time. So you can. Yeah. Okay. So first we are going to see introduction to cloud computing. What is a cloud computing, essential of cloud computing, deployment models, service models and advantages of cloud computing, cloud providers, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure and uh, Google Cloud Platform. So we are going to see in this course, first introduction to cloud computing. We are going to see each and every concepts we are going to see. Okay. So next is introduction to Google Cloud Platform. First, we are going to see infrastructure of Google Cloud, such as region and zone, we are going to see. Second, we are going to see the overview of Google Cloud services, such as compute, storage, networking, database, and more. We are going to see in introduction to Google Cloud platform. So next, we are going to see compute services. First, we are going to see understanding of uh, Google compute services, compute services concept we are going to see, preemptable instances we are going to see, and next, how to create and manage the VM in Google Cloud by using the console as well as the command line interface G Cloud commands we are going to use. Next, we are going to launch the VMs on demand using the Google Compute Engine. And here we are going to create a persistent disk. And finally, we are going to deploy a web server containerized application to a Google Kubernetes Engine GKE cluster. We are going to see in this uh, compute services under the compute services. Each and everything we are going to see friends concepts also we are going to see first after that we are going to see the demo. So next we are going to see the demo compute engine. Now we are going to see create how to create a new instance from the Google Cloud Console and launch the simple website by using the script. So now we are going to see now I am going to open a Google Cloud Console. This is the GCP console. So navigation menu I am clicking the navigation menu. So no need to worry friends, I'm, I will explain it how to do each and everything in the course. So how to create a GCP account also I need to include. Okay. So first uh, I need to click this navigation menu. You need to click and go to the compute engine. So how to create a VM. So just click the uh, compute engine. So it's opening now. VM instances. Just click create instance now. Create instance now. Okay. Now we need to fill this form instance name and uh, let it be the instance name instance hyphen one and region we need to select i am selecting as uh, us central one as per our need i can select so availability zone i am selecting as us central one a and machine configuration is serious uh, second generation first generation we have so let it be the second generation e2 and machine type i can select a shared core and uh, we have standard next is high memory so we can select as per our need as per our requirement and um, if you are seeing e to medium so the uh, amount is 25 dollar monthly and uh, i am going to change it to micro now you can check it seven dollar it is coming like a seven dollar only so i am let it i am selecting the e to micro so this is for testing purpose i am selecting this and uh, allow scopes and firewall i am selecting this https traffic and under this networking just select this and here we need to click this management and we are we are going to update the startup script now automation so just copy paste from the document so this is my document only google document my document only so i am copy pasting pasting this script so this is the installing our uh, installing the apache 2 server and uh, i am giving the simple web page hello world web page only web. welcome to gcp so this page was created from startup script so now we are going to create the vm just click create vm now it is creating now let's wait for it less than one minute only it will take friends so just wait for it instance one and the name is instance one and it is loading now so if you are seeing the status after that uh, the status will come now the status is running like that we will see the message we can check that one we can view that also so after that we are going to copy the external ip address and uh, we are going to open a new web browser so now you can see the status now instance is running this instance is running now you can copy the external IP address, copy to clipboard. So, 
we need to copy the external IP from this copy to clipboard and open a new web browser open a new web browser and enter that external IP address and enter it now you can see the simple website hello world welcome to Google cloud platform this page was created from a startup script okay fine now I'm going to delete this VM that's it friends we have done this uh, demo now so this for sample only I, I'm taking right now so we are going to see each and everything no need to worry in this course we are going to see now I'm deleting this instance siphon one so instance one is deleting now you can see the message instance uh, deleting okay so now we'll go uh, the next slide we have done this uh, demo now so we are going to see the next uh, slide now we have done this uh, creating the new instance and uh, launch the web simple website and finally we have deleted the instance also next we will move on the next slide okay fine so databases under the databases we are going to see the basic operations of cloud sql and cloud spanner so both are relational databases uh, we are going to see the demo also cloud sql demo and the cloud spanner demo next we are going to do the performing administrative task in cloud big table it is a no sql database cloud big table concepts we are going to see and finally we are going to see the demo of the cloud data store so it is a semi structured data so we are going to see the demo of the cloud data store so this will comes under databases so next we are going to see the slide next we will move on to the next slide so serverless so serverless under the serverless services we are going to first we are going to creating a small app engine application that displays a short message so next we are going to create and deploy a python cloud function by using the google cloud console and finally we are going to deploy a container that has already been uploaded to the container registry repository to the cloud run so cloud run demo also we are going to see so next is storage under the storage we are going to see the storage options which storage we need to choose storage uh, concepts we are going to see cloud storage so first one is accessing our data with cloud storage by using the google cloud console as well as the by using the gs util tool so gs util it's nothing but it's the commands only we are going to see these things and uh, next one is working in storage transfer service so this is for example other cloud providers we need to transfer the data from other cloud providers to google cloud then we need to choose the storage transfer service for example aws to google cloud uh, data we need to transfer means we can uh, select this option this service storage transfer service so we are going to see this demo also working in storage transfer service concept also we are going to see in this course so we will move on to next slide let's we will move on to next slide okay fine so big data under the big data we are going to see first data flow so setting up our python development environment and we are going to run example pipeline by using the google cloud console first we are going to see the data flow second we are going to see the uh, data pro cluster how to run a simple apache spark job in the cluster we are going to see next one is how to create a data lab instance and a new notebook by using the ungit in our browser and finally we are going to see the pubsub by using the gcloud command line tool how to create a topic and how to publish the messages to the topic and how to receive the messages from the subscription so we are going to see the pubsub so it's a real-time messaging services we are going to see concepts as well as the demo so each and everything so data flow data proc data lab pubsub so we are going to see the concept as well as the demo we are going to see in this uh, course and next is cloud composer demo we are going to see cloud composer uh, concept as well as the cloud composer demo so next is uh, we are going to see uh, bigquery first so by using the google cloud console as a visual interface to complete uh, we are going to see some task perform task like running the queries loading the data and exporting the data so second is using the bq command line tool to run queries and load the data so both are bigquery only first is cloud console second one, second one is a command line tool we are going to use bq command then finally we are going to see the data catalog demo so first data catalog what's the concepts of data catalog and demo so next is networking so under the networking we are going to see first virtual private cloud demo 
so what is a, a vpc uh, we are going to see then demo second is uh, reserving a static external ip address we are going to see this demo so it, it is which is equivalent of uh, elastic ip in amazon web services then third we are going to see working with firewall rules demo we are going to see and fourth vpc demo auto mode and custom mode and fourth demo vpc based on host this is a simple web server we are going to create and testing the connectivity finally we are going to setting up the network peering vpc network peering so what is a peering peering concepts we are going to see and setting up the network vpc network peering we are going to see under this uh, networking services we will move on the next slide so again networking only it will come so next networking uh, under the networking services we are going to see the load balancer what is a load balancer load balancer concepts we are going to see types of load balancers we are going to see and next we are going to demo configure the google cloud load balancer https load balancing we are going to see this demo and uh, setting up the network and http load balancer we are going to see this demo and next finally uh, sorry not finally next one is iam and admin identity access management and admin understanding the roles we are going to see and uh, demo of the identity access management and service account so what is a service account and service account demo we are going to see in this identity access management and admin services we are going to see in detail so next we will move on next one under the tools we are going to see the deployment manager what is a deployment manager fundamental of deployment manager deployment manager demo so we are going to define and deploy deploy the resources and how to i mean we are going to check on our new deployment and review our resources we are going to see in deployment manager under the deployment manager tools we are going to see so next one is uh, google cloud certification exams why get google cloud certified and which google cloud certification is right for you we are going to see these things so so we have few uh, certifications such as foundational associate so foundational no hands on experience with google cloud is required cloud digital leader associate 6 plus months building on google cloud this is cloud engineer so the course will cover this both and professional the recommended experience is 3 plus x years experience industry experience and including 1 plus years on google cloud so cloud architect cloud developer data engineer cloud devops engineer cloud security engineer cloud network engineer collaboration engineer machine learning engineer so this uh, this is the thing looker certifications so professional certification we have done and looker certification 6 plus months working in looker so looker business analyst and look ml machine learning developer so we have done this and google cloud platform course duration is 40 hours so registration form i have given in the description and in the slide also you can click click it friends so just give me a second okay so this is the course uh, detail course duration is total 40 hours and uh, course uh, fee is 33000 only and batch 1 we have batch 2 batch 3 batch 4 there are four batches we have and uh, first batch weekdays monday to friday morning 10 am to 12 pm ist so week 1 so the course starts on batch 1 starts on november 15th so week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 i have given the dates clearly november 15 to november 19 november 22 to november 26 november 29 to december 3 and december 6 to december 10 so the course ends on december 10 so second batch starts on weekdays only so monday to friday night time 10 pm to 12 am ist so the course starts on november 15th to november 19 i mean week one and uh, the course ends on same december 10 only the third batch batch 3 this is a weekend batch so saturday and sunday morning 10:30 am to 1 pm ist and uh, it starts on november 20 week one and uh, likewise week one week two week three week four i have given the dates here so the course ends on december 12 so batch four weekend batch saturday and sunday so 9:30 pm to 12 pm ist so november 20 it starts on november 20 and ends on december 12 if you are really interested then you can fill the form friends i i will uh, give the uh, registration form link in the description below so you can click the link and you can fill the form also if you are really interested 
and uh, I am going to open the registration form now so you can view the form now so this is the registration form if you have any queries you can contact this mail id so you can contact this mail id blossom.mother801 at gmail.com so name you can fill this and are you interested uh, name are you interested for this course and are you a student or professor experience you can fill country contact mail id and uh, contact whatsapp number so if if you are having whatsapp then you can send the whatsapp number or else no need so which batch are you going to join so you can select the batch and any other comments if you have then you can update any other comments and finally you can submit so the course starts on November 15 so you can limited seats only friends you can if you are really interested you can fill that form and you can uh, we can discuss it also so thanks a lot friends thanks a lot friends so if you are really interested you can you can uh, join this course or else you can skip this uh, friends no need for example who can learn this course so for example if you are a student you can learn after completing the degree or engineering you can uh, learn this course after that you can search for a job so this is a new technology cloud computing google cloud platform so several jobs are coming so many jobs is coming in gcp nowadays you can go for this gcp if you are already uh, if you are already working in some other platform like uh, networking databases uh, something like that then you need to switch over to some other organization or some other uh, in your organization you are going to see uh, you, are, you are planning to change your uh, team something like that then you can select this course and you can learn also and one more thing i would like to tell so the course timing is daily two hours only i have mentioned it so i what i have planned uh, daily one hour to one and a half hours only i will take the session after that uh, 30 or 45 minutes i will give the timing to you so you need to do the lab a daily basis and you need to give the output to me so so that uh, it will be good for you and myself also so that's what i have planned it so one and a half hours only maximum i will take and uh, remaining timing then you need to uh, do the lab hands-on lab so i don't know worries uh, how to create the gcp account everything i will explain it uh, in the course when we are uh, starting the when we start the course so then uh, that's it friends so thanks a lot have a great day bye bye